Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 22. All right, the previous episode, um, we met a new character, Paul, and he is the master of using steel. And yeah, he's he's this is a funny guy, <laughs> you know, with his little jokes and all, and he kind of pranked Rebecca as well, all that stuff. And he has a B uh, B cube, yeah, a B cube, uh, which probably has something which is related to Valkyrie we still don't know what that is we kind of saw him talking with Valkyrie before in one of the episodes so I guess Valkyrie was here before maybe she went away maybe she's still here we don't know so so I'm guessing everything like will make sense after we get to see whatever is there in the B cube um, that was that Homura was also like imprisoned but thankfully Shiki saved her and uh you know like they were transported to the the big huge giant monster thing they defeated it gathered all the stones unfortunately we could see here that um miss kurenai madam kurenai she didn't have any uh plans to let the uh, prisoners go because as soon as the number went to zero on their collar it resetted so and as far as I could understand, I'm guessing all these stones are actually used for uh, powering up the Kurenai Oculus. And by the end, we see that uh, Kurenai, Madam Kurenai, is planning something big. So she wants to destroy the whole um, uh, labor dist district using the Kurenai Oculus. And uh, because Valkyries. Uh, you know, rebels, uh, the people who are causing the rebellion in the labor district are getting too out of hand. So she's like, yeah, just destroy the whole place. So let's see what happens this episode, how they're going to get out of this mess and what happens to Madame Kurenai. So, and if we are able to find Valkyrie or not. So without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 22 of Eden Zero. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Alright. Truth about Valkyrie. Oh, we're going to see it now? Come on, show us. Oh no, they're going to... Reveal everything later on. Yeah, they, the way they usually do it, you know, like, like the main characters know what's happening, but we don't. And we're going to know in the later date. Like Rebecca seemed pretty cons, like, what can I say? Like concerned, and same with Shiki after uh, the whole B cube showed whatever was in it so i don't know let's see All right. Planet Oedo, 10 years ago. Is this a backstory? Yeah. The mother, the machine. <laughs> <laughs> you told it. 
Hmm. Okay, so this is when Valkyrie was with Homura. Hmm. Oh, that little thing that we see in the ending song. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh, I also thought that. Like, I thought that she, her mom and dad died in the just. Okay. Hmm. Oh, great. <laughs> hmm. Five years. Oh. What? Ah, great. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, great. Mm. Okay, teach them a lesson, please. Buddha? Oh, okay. You're one of those people. The daddy's boy, okay. Okay, whack them, please. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this, this escalated a bit. Oh my god, great! Uh... Wait, she used her Aether Gear? Okay, that's a bit too much. She could have just slapped him or something. But he's only, he's only a little scratch in his cheek, like what? <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, oh, this guy! Okay, this dad seems a bit reasonable, I think. Well, you need to teach your son a lesson first. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, he seems like a reasonable character. <sighs> but... Like, as Homura said, she, she's her mentor, like, no need to be her mom, you know?
like funny thing the guy said that uh, like okay i'll talk about it later like Oh, she came to um, Yame. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, does she also give her a test? Oh no, she doesn't do that. Oh, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, they never met. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, this is good and I? Uh, what? They don't look. What happened to her? She's like a, like a queen. Like what the? Let's just ban Mordor. Oh my god, she was also... Oh, is this... Yeah... It's Paul. <laughs> XT. We know we were... Oh, so that's why he's... Staying here. Lacrima. Yeah. Wait, what happened that she's changed so s drastically? Oh my god, great. What the hell is happening? Oh my god! What? What? Two years later. Oh my god! What? What? So, oh my god, this is so ridiculous, what the hell? Yeah, like it's like a drastic change, like it's... How can that person be...
Oh, great. What's happening now? Oh, oh my God. These things are out. What the hell? Wow, she went completely crazy in the uh, uh, like like money's. Oh my god, due to money. Oh great. Whoa, whoa, what? Wow. Yeah, she's very strong. God. Wow. Oh no. Oh my god, this lady! Someone needs to drag her down from that throne that she is so... God, she's her- Oh my god, it's still continuing. What the hell? Is there no one here to help? Oh, she, she told them to run away. Oh my god. God. Oh my god. Oh no, did she? Oh my god! Oh! God, this is a scene in the ending. I don't think so. My God, what the hell? <clears throat> That's why they're still here.
Someone needs to bring her down. What the hell is this? Like, how much of a... This is shaking. Irony, she fought to protect humans and she died because of a human. Wait, does she know that uh, her mom is Kurenai? I think so. Yeah, he's pissed. Oh my god, this... Uh, ridiculous, what the hell? I really did not like her, but this episode... I don't know. How dare she? What the hell? Oh my god. Okay, this... What? Oh my god, so she, she was like this from the beginning. Okay, crash the whole place. Yeah, just, just, just... Yeah, like, this, this lady deserves the worst. I never say that. But this lady deserves the worst. Yeah, you unfortunately you don't have any choice here. We're gonna drag you down there. Yeah, we're gonna drag you down. She messed with the wrong people. I don't know if like I don't know, like usually like Enemies in uh, animes, like you know, bad characters in animes, they like you know, like especially Fairy Tale did this. Like every enemy had like a redeeming factor, uh, and in a way, and the kind of like you know, by the end of it, we started to kind of sympathize with them. Like even the worst of the enemies, I don't know if I'll ever be able to forgive this lady. Like even if she gets like gets through some like 25 hour, like episode redemption arc even if she goes through such a thing like that i don't think i'll ever be able to for forgive this lady like what the hell Yeah, this scene makes sense now. God.
Fuck. Hell yes. Like, it's really sad in a way, like, like all the shiny stars, like not all, but like in at least two of them that we have seen, um, Hermit and Valkyrie, both of them like went through so much just because of humans. Like, it's ridiculous actually. God damn, what is wrong with like... Okay, um, I, like, it's really weird to actually, like, I, like, I wouldn't really have been able to make the connection that, uh, Kurenai is actually Homura's mom. Like, they are nothing similar at all, like, in any sense. Like, I, I, I think, <laughs> I think in one of the previous episodes, someone said that I made a very close connection and I like probably was able to understand something and I can understand what they were telling now in the comment section I think in one of the previous episode I said something like um, like you know one thing I felt very similar about Homura and Kurenai was their Japanese clothes you know I think I said something like that in one of the episodes and people I think people in the comments says, said that oh you're very close to something that you aren't able to, like you know we are very close you were able to like uh, understand something and I kind of thought about it but was unable to like you know like figure anything out and honestly speaking I would probably would not be able to make any connection between these two they are nothing same this Homura and like Kurenai like the amount of stark difference between those two and you know what thank god she left Homura because this type of a crazy lady this type of a like I don't know like uh, lady if she was an influence on Homura if she actually like you know brought her up when she was when Homura was a child Homura would also turn out to be a nasty person like her like you know because children are very easily influenced they do whatever the adults surrounding them try like tell them to do and everything thank god she left her in a way like like and she and like you know Homura met Valkyrie in her stead like like good riddance in my opinion but yeah the main sad thing here is that Valkyrie actually got involved with uh, Kurenai and actually even trusted her like I'm like, you know like I myself thought that like when we saw Kurenai in, in like when, when they said that um, uh, like uh, Valkyrie went to meet uh, and find Kurenai and then say they showed us Kurenai like uh, uh, like you know we saw her I was like, how the hell is Kurenai Homura's mom? And then we get suddenly shift to that scene where we see Kurenai in the, like, you know, slave district and uh, in the uh, labor district and with, you know, the debt and everything, the way she was crying and everything. I was like, okay, so maybe, you know, maybe something happened where she, you know, was uh, this type of a lady, but later on, maybe she became like, you know, cruel and uh, very bad maybe because of some kind of circumstances but that last scene where Kurenai actually says that ah, I, I like you know I, I just ditched her I didn't care about her like <laughs> in the first place I was in the mess because I like, you know, I ditched her came here and messed up myself so yeah I don't care about my daughter uh, she can go to hell like basically that's what she said at that scene and I was shocked. I was like, okay, so this lady has been this nasty from the beginning. No life-changing mm, thing happened to change her from a good person to a bad person. Nah, she she was a bad person from the beginning, and yeah, like they shouldn't have ever like gotten themselves involved in this whole thing. God, like. <sighs> ridiculous and like okay then what she does she actually decides to poke the uh, the monster things which has uh, those ore on her uh, on them she kind of uh, agitates them to run over the uh, labor district just so that people would be desperate to kill them 
and gain more ores and they she would have just disposed of the, all those people and brought new people in like like the amount of like i, I feel as if like they actually tried to <laughs> they actually tried to stuff in all the bad things bad personality but bad character you know uh, you know bad morals everything they tried to cram in everything in this one single person and yeah i think they are pretty they have been like you know hiro mashima have been pretty successful in doing that she is the worst character i've ever seen in this anime like yeah i i, I don't care what like i'm not sure if we'll be meeting some even worst character than this but for now she's the worst character in this show like what is like i don't know like <sighs> God. So one thing I wonder, um, like Xiaomi, did she know that this is going to happen? Valkyrie was going to die. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not because she doesn't. It doesn't seem like like she was. She told her in a very normal way. Like, yeah, I doubt she was able to. Uh, uh actually prophesize that like we know she's like the time oracle but yeah maybe maybe not like okay anyways okay so this episode Ugh. oh boy like Okay, so first we see uh, Homura and Valkyrie, them, you know, in, in that village, and now I wonder why the mom actually gave the plushy doll to Homura, like, you know, um, like Homura said something like, this is the, my mom left this with me, like, why even, I don't know. Like if she is really that like this amount of a nasty person why did she actually give it to homura i don't know i i, I hope i hope we're going to get some answers on that because homura seemed to really treasure that and it seems like he also had a positive impression on her mom so like what like did her mom like act like a certain good mom in front of her or was that it like, you know was queen i acting like a good mom and then uh, when she found out that yeah this is my chance she just ditched her went to uh, san Jill to like you know gain some money to make some profit the casino uh, failed spectacularly and got like you know added into the labor district like was that what happened most probably i guess and we don't know anything about the dad i wonder what happened to him uh, uh, homura's dad mm. I think he, most probably the dad probably died in the war or something because up like up until this like you know episode i i was also under the impression that the mom died and yeah you know what i as i said like you know i probably wouldn't be able to make that connection that homura's mom is actually kurenai because i was also under the impression that the her mom was dead like you know mom and dad both were dead and valkyrie found her and then suddenly here like you know in this episode they like you know uh, tell us like you know they reveal that nah the mom is alive and homura also knows that that mom is alive mom just went away and yeah so anyways okay that was that and we can see that valkyrie here uh there was a little what can i say she was a little uncomfortable with one thing is that like she was uncomfortable with the fact that she was unable to become the proper mother to homura and you know she she realized that homura needed her like, you know her real mom because of that plushy in itself like you know the way she actually clung to it and you know and how all the other people like for example the the, the main guy there uh, what was the name the magistrate or whatever he was you know uh, people like him who said something like oh you know like you are a robot so yeah you need to make the distinction of uh, what not like you, know, you don't have human feelings or something like that and you should bring uh, 
the mom like all that stuff like ironical situation the magistrate himself uh, admitted that he was unable to you know bring up his son properly but then he himself tells valkyrie that he like tries to teach her ways of parenting like wow <laughs> Like great, like she know he knows that his son is such a like you know like spoiled bratty child. She knows he knows that he knows that he was unable to bring him up properly, spoiled him too much. Now he's like this, and at the same time he tries to lecture Valkyrie about you know parenting, how to parent like you know become a parent or something. Like this like line here, he says, Valkyrie, is it? If you cannot discipline your own child, then you stop pretending to be her mother. Wow, what a great character. Like I kind of said that he seems reasonable, but you know what? I take it back. He seems reasonable, but he seems pretty oblivious to, I don't know, like, Funny situation like how can people be this type of like I don't know like blind like he himself admits that he did not bring his son bring up his son properly he then says that if you can't like you know discipline your child uh, stop pretending to be a, her mother whereas he himself was unable to discipline his child and he's lecturing Valkyrie about how to become a mom great great job wow like i feel like this one episode had so many irritating characters one after the other like first that little brat you know that spoiled brat that that kid then his dad then kurenai like wow they they like crammed everything in one episode <laughs> my god All right, and then he says something like, just a sec, uh, when Valkyrie asks him uh, that, so you say that uh, machines cannot love? And he says that, no, this isn't about human or machine. When raising children, things don't always go the way we planned. Yeah, that's very apparent, you know, <laughs> looking at your son. But we can love our children anyway, because they're our own flesh and blood. You know, like how does this even relate to this situation? He's saying that yeah, I can love my son because he is my own, like you know, uh, flesh and blood. Uh, like, like what? Why? Like, yeah, I get it. Like he he's trying to like you know give what can I say? Like impart some knowledge here. But how does this even relate to this situation? Like Valkyrie has like enough love to give Homura. Like, Homer is not like a bratty kid like that kid. So, how does this even relate to this situation? Okay, he's saying that, okay, let's listen to the rest of his words. You are not the girl's mother. Oh, wait, that's it. Oh, great. So, what he basically says is that, uh, like, Even if, like, you know, like, uh, we can only, like, you know, we, we love our uh, children because they're own flesh and blo blood. However, like, you know, uh, they are spoiled. However, they are bratty. We love, we are able to love them because uh, they're our flesh and child. And yeah, I agree with that because I, for myself, I'm really not unable to love that child because of his bratty attitude. And he's correct. He's, he's the father of him. That's why he is the only, probably only person who's able to love him as a child. Because he's his own flesh blood. Good point. He's correct completely. How the hell does it even relate to Valkyrie? Like what? Like was he trying to say that? Uh, tell Valkyrie that since you're a robot and since Homura is not, uh, you know, your own 
flesh and blood you are you won't be able to reach like you know like won't be able to love her as much as her mom would i think that's what he was trying to tell her and like obviously that would bother valkyrie but homura is happy homura was really happy then you know all this time like she really loved uh, valkyrie as a mentor as kind of like a mom as well so like it, it's basically like because a third person tried to poke in the nose in their affairs that this whole mess started you know and i i guess probably in the future as well probably valkyrie would like even if this guy didn't tell valkyrie these type of stuff uh, i i guess valkyrie would probably go and try to find kurenai in the near future but you know like yeah like it, it was basically like this this situation itself like valkyrie felt that she was uh not worth like you know like was unable to reach that position of a mother and in a way like you know another thing i think probably affected her in a way homura like whenever someone told homura that like you know your mom your mom homura was like she's my mentor not my mom now obviously homura like you know meant well about it she respected valkyrie so much like a mentor and she was basically stating that but i think valkyrie probably was a little bit i don't know bothered by it because it seemed as if valkyrie really loved her as her own child so like you know listening to homura say that she is my mentor not my mom probably also added to the effect of her thinking that yeah she actually needs her real mom i am incapable of providing everything for to her so that's why she decided to go and like you know try to find uh, kurenai and this mess starts my god they should have left this like you know this village and homura could have just like uh, i don't know like you know like valkyrie and homura could have just went somewhere else you know maybe even go to um go back to ziggy you know yeah see, they could have done that and i i, I like you know, everything would have been better you know shiki would have had a friend to play with and valkyrie would have also been in that planet and it would have been nice that's a bad situation like okay that was the first part of this episode and you know this really bothered her so she actually goes to <coughs> Xiaomei asks for her help <coughs> and Xiaomei leads her to Sun Jewel planet where we meet Kurenai as a slave so like that really at that moment i thought that maybe shuenai really was a good person before and maybe something happened to her that changed her <laughs> oh boy little did i know and then you know like we see that them kind of doing that whole thing like you know giving that bracelet and uh, not bracelet the, the the necklace uh changing it to valkyrie and valkyrie like you know trying to uh pay off the debt that she has thinking that kurenai has gone back to homura but no this this girl this lady kurenai she just hatched another plan and decided to you know marry the baron or whatever the hell he, his name was i can't remember uh, you know married him and i guess killed him or something and then she became the queen or whatever of this place like wow like how greedy can a person be and he, she seized power over here made this place even worse like this was from the beginning this was one of the worst places and she was capable of making it even worse uh, couldn't i and okay then we see like you know her greed in action where she actually like you know makes all the uh, the monsters go crazy and come here so that the people like, try to kill them get more um, stuff go made more materials valkyrie like it's one of the most i don't know like aggravating scene where we see valkyrie fighting you know like it's such a day it's like such a what can i say <clears throat> dangerous situation valkyrie fighting for her life and could i just laughing with all the ores all the minerals metals raining on from the top and oh god one of the most aggravating scenes and then valkyrie just her core stops 
here in that position like so all of these was written uh, like what's was in the b cube <coughs> and like you know like due to the weather and everything everything like kind of her face peeled off and everything it's, it's like she's in a very bad situation okay so this was what uh, like you know paul was actually talking with in one of the previous i thought oh, valkyrie was here but it was her empty husk that she, she, paul was talking with and you know what I, at the beginning i also kind of thought maybe like you know maybe if it, they brought valkyrie back to the uh, eden zero maybe someone can help her you know like i don't know like Something could be done, but then you know says that if the core stops, it can't. You know, the person cannot be brought back. And then Shiki goes, encourages her, and it tells that she has friends. And Shiki himself was obviously very pissed, and we see what happens after that. You know, Kuro and I like laughing like a maniac on top of the tower or whatever. And Shiki busts in. I really hope, like, they teach her a lesson, like in in a big way, like not any small punishment or whatever. No, she she needs to really learn her lesson. And what, like, I I really hope Homura comes here and Homura herself actually teaches her a lesson. Like, how dare she? Like. Like. I said it I like I said it before that usually like I I like and at least in my opinion like all the enemies at least in fairy tale were characters who were like very like you know redeemable and like I've also seen people saying that uh, oh fairy tale all the enemies there actually become good guys and they <laughs> You know in the end and I was also like yeah that's quite true and it is quite true in a way so <laughs> Like how different is this show? Like they made a complete scumbag, this Kuranai lady, and I really hate her the most in this show. At least up until now, I don't know if some other douchebag will come who'll be even a bigger bad, like, you know, person than Kuranai. But I think she she's at the top now, you know. In the like you know in most the most aggravating villains, she's at the top. Like I hate her. Is one of the worst. Like, you know, in a way, it's one of the best you have to say. Like you know, people like mate, the like you know, best character mate who can actually grind your gears, make you annoyed, and yeah. Like this, this is not one thing that you can say that you know what, Kurenai is good in this manner. Not one thing, not one redeemable point. Nothing. There's nothing in her. I don't know if, like you know, but up, still up, up, until now, and I, again, I, I'm saying this, like I don't know if we're going to get some kind of sad backstory or whatever about her, or you know, something we get to see about her, which probably will try to make us change our mind about her. Even if something like that come, I don't think I'll be able to forgive her for this whole thing. No, not at all. She, she, I don't know. Like, I, yeah, like I'm usually very. What do you call it? What can I say? Very lenient on uh, characters, like you know, anime characters, enemy characters, and everything. You know, if if they have like at least one redeemable feature, like you know, I kind of say that you know what, like yeah, like it's okay, I forgive you. But I don't think I'll be able to ever forgive this Kurenai lady, even if he gets she gets like. Like a whole season of some kind of redemption arc or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of waiting for like I, I'm kind of waiting for something. Like I'm I'm kind of waiting to see whether this this Kuena character will really be this type of a trash character, like one of the worst character ever, or will she actually have some kind of redemption in the future? I'm kind of waiting for that. I doubt she's going to have any redemption because. She she doesn't really seem redeemable, you know. Yeah, I don't think so. So yeah, just beat beat her up. I guess <laughs> that's all that I can say. And Shiki is well on his way to actually do that. <laughs> and I hope 
Umrah also joins <laughs> joins him <laughs> like you know in the next episode so yeah I, like we still don't know what Humrah's impression is on her mom you know we still don't know that is he pissed at her or is he really angry at her like what is the impression like yeah I'm sure we're going to see that in the next or the episode after that my god this was an episode Ugh. Okay, so yeah, guys, uh, I've been talking for quite a while. So that was it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Eden Zero episode number 22. So if you guys enjoyed this reaction, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say. Anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Eden Zero. And I really hope that in the next episode, Kurenai gets beaten up <laughs> and she actually learns a lesson so yeah otherwise I like I'm, I'm really pissed at her like just thinking about like like this one character was able to mess up the whole thing like like you know like Valkyrie is dead Homura is like this and they're stuck in this situation she's exploiting so many characters and she has the goal to actually like you know like act like a innocent character in the beginning when we saw her in the slave district she was like acting like such a goody two shoes and then like she has the gall to actually like you know say that yeah like i like you know you know what everything that i did was on my own i made everything you know valkyrie ha huh, who is that like you know i don't know her like she, like all the credit goes to me I am the best. That's basically what she was saying. Like she has the gall to actually say that. So yeah, I really hope she teach, uh, she gets taught a lesson in the next episode. And I'll be waiting for that. So <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, uh, until then, goodbye and have a nice day.